Hello, I'm Christine Sandwood with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. 10 people and two dogs are displaced from their homes tonight after two separate house fires in the valley. On the left, six people are without a home in Phoenix after a fire broke out inside their home. Thankfully, everyone was able to get out before officials got there. Crews rescuing two dogs inside. Four others also displaced after a Glendale mobile home fire. Thankfully, everyone there also made it out. Investigators still working to determine both causes. Another winter storm is on the way and it can have some significant impacts on your health. The winter weather can be dangerous for people with respiratory or heart issues. The other thing that we see is people who have uh, breathing issues. Uh, when they go from sort of a nice, warm, toasty environment in their house to going out into the cold, say they're going to take go for a walk or take their dog out, they may feel uh, some tightness there um, in the chest and have some difficulty breathing. So here's what to do to prepare. Plan your travel route in advance. Also, let someone know where you're going and the time that you might get there. Make sure your car's gas tank is at least three quarters full. Drive slowly and carefully and make sure you're, you bring that, your pets inside. Now to a health alert. We're learning a little bit more information about these lead tainted applesauce pouches. Take a look. U.S. health officials say the pouches contaminate a high level of chemical chromium mixed with lead. It's not clear what type of chromium was found. However, the most severe is known to cause cancer. The CDC asking anyone who used these pouches to speak with their doctor. Get free tickets to the WM Phoenix Open by donating blood this weekend. Vitalant's Saving Arizona Blood Drive is Sunday at the Tempe Center for the Arts. All blood types are needed. Donors get a pass to the Phoenix Open and also a voucher for some free pizza. A man diagnosed with Parkinson's disease seven years ago is finding a new purpose in life after his symptoms got worse. He's calling it the Shovel Crew. Today they had one of their first fundraising events in the Valley. ABC 15's Josh Cristianto sharing his journey. Seven years ago, at the age of 34, Mike Zyamek got a diagnosis that would change his life forever. My wife just noticed a twitch uh, in my finger. I didn't think much of it. Um, she's a nurse, and she was like, oh, you might as well go get that checked out. That twitch turned out to be Parkinson's disease. Though the symptoms were still barely noticeable, no medication required. That all changed this last year. The big thing is your life is, the way you look at it isn't what you had planned. So you gotta kinda write it, your own narrative to, to what, how you're gonna handle it. Now, at age 41, Zyamek is doing exactly that. The Shovel Crew Foundation to bury Parkinson's disease is his new project aimed at raising awareness, advocacy, and money for research. And they're fundraising through events like this one in Scottsdale, screening Back to the Future with a portion of proceeds going to Team Fox, actor Michael J. Fox's grassroots effort for research funding. They just had this huge breakthrough last year on isolating the gene, and all that comes from support of grassroots foundations and people like myself and my supporters. Zymex says around Around 1% of the population has confirmed Parkinson's disease, but some may be undiagnosed and struggling. He hopes what he's doing now, however new it may be, will go a long way in the fight he never expected to be in. With this charity and with this foundation, it has given me a new purpose in life and a new focus in life because I want to help as many people as I can to know that, you know, it isn't over. The world isn't going to end. The sun's going to come up tomorrow. We just got to make the best of it. Reporting in Scottsdale, Josh Cristianto, ABC 15, Arizona. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo with your most accurate forecast. We are switching into weather action mode for Sunday as we track a strong cold front that's going to bring some significant weather impacts to Arizona, specifically the high country and the higher terrain of our state. Now for the valley, we're going to get rain too. That rain will move in by mid morning tomorrow. Likely eight to nine o'clock is when we're going to start to see those first showers, mainly in western in the western portions of the valley first. And then those showers sweep across the Phoenix metro area as we go through the rest of the morning and into the afternoon. Rainfall amounts still look Look light. We're talking a tenth to maybe two tenths of an inch of rain for the Phoenix metro area, so not a lot. It's the high country where we're going to see the most significant impacts with heavy blowing snow possible as winds crank up in northern Arizona. Four to eight inches of snow possible in spots above 5,000 feet. We've got winter storm warnings in the pink and winter weather advisories in the purple all in effect tonight and through the day tomorrow. Look for hazardous travel conditions up in northern Arizona for the valley rainy tomorrow, then colder to start Monday.